Right, the Sakurai channel. Uh, he's been popping stuff out there. And God bless. Let the man retire. Let him make fun videos. He deserves... Um, He'll be back. He de he no he no, he's semi retired in his own words. And yes, Nintendo has like fucking pulled some bullshit before. Like I like you heard about how Smash Four was announced, right? Yeah. yeah. So like they've ripped him from beyond the grave, and like he's in the afterlife, and he can't have his rest. So you're not wrong. It is possible, but for his <laughs> own sake, I really hope he actually like fucking chills. You know, not to mention the fact that he's destroying his wrists because. He puts it to the limit, you know, uh, uh, each time. So, uh, yes, I remember hearing about this, and I didn't pay too much attention to it, but it was something to the effect of um, fighting games, execution, and the amount of practice that you should have to, I think, uh, you know. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Whether a game needs, should whether a game should be designed with practice in mind or something to that effect. ポケモンが動揺発想で企画を考えられた。格闘ゲームの暗示定説はよく言われるし、実際私もそう言っていますが、格闘ゲームを否定しているわけでは格闘ゲームは非常に面白い。いや、彼はとても好きです。格闘
And now he's like, we wanted people to do it more rarely, so we put a, a bigger input to it. And it's like, okay, we know that there's a whole bit where you can do a sure you can. Uh, it takes a little more time than it does when you press one button to do an uppercut. Therefore, a one button uppercut shouldn't be as good, right, as something that requires you to do an input. Okay. But when you go to the level of this shit, where it's like, uh, this is like not unrealistic, but just like nigh impossible level inputs for a reward right you're kind of wondering like is it just a like is it more than a flex is there any what is it what's it for is it a utility is it really a tool is it a tool in the in the in the belt of the character did you design with this move in mind if no one can do it yeah that's fair does it does you know if it's a game breaking move but it's impossible to do should one you know how do you how do you work that into the fact into the the situation right Mm. so it's an ongoing discussion. I like the fun stuff like uh, 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 Run Stop Fierce with El Forte where it's like that's busted but it's so hard to do that we're going to leave it in because you get a little bit of reward if you can do part of it. If you can do the whole thing, you're incredible, you've earned it, you're a god but it's not going to win the round. Mm, yeah, okay. It's going to just do a really, really, really good combo. You know, That's the, the balance I kind of like. You know, Or the Dan um, infinite into like nerf buff where it's like <laughs> nerf buff where it's like instead of letting him do a, a fireball infinite we made it so that one in six <laughs> fireballs yeah, have a chance to, to do more damage but knock you down therefore you can't get infinite in. mm-hmm. fun stuff like that all right where are you going sakurai <laughs>最初のヒットからうまく攻撃をつなげられるかという遊びの中では対戦相手のテクニックの介在というのはありません。コンボ重視のゲームが増え、駆け引き要素などは下がっていく。わからない人や初心者にはなおさら見ているだけのやられているだ
you know, something where I was like, ah, I'd rather continue to face the opponent, like, in that way. But being completely loose means you can do more things, right? I understand that, like, from a, from a you know, a, a player expression point of view, mm. more options is better. ゲームのスケール難しい点の一つ主役がいきなりいっぱいいる。That's お客さんに対して知らない人がいきなり12人とか言っても親しみや特化狩りを持ちにくいですよね。That's fair. フォーカスをゲームならとりあえずプレイしてみることは可能だし、他の人がプレイしているのも見ているわけだから、the they become beloved with time, but that initial thing, that initial moment, you know. And if you do a good job, like Overwatch, you create a bunch of characters that people are going like, to be like, oh yeah, those are classics right away, you know. But still, it's hard to make the resistance of that versus the thing we know. You, can, the, you cannot deny the appeal of the thing we know. It's why every request for an LP is, hey, go back and do a thing I know, as opposed mm -hmm. to, you know. I did it. It's good. Yeah. You should do it. Yeah. Or even like, hey, what do you want to see in this thing? The answer is never new characters. It's always the thing I know. It's right. it's that's that's the Who's nature of how character. Yeah, for sure. まあ、遊んでないうちからですけどね。ビフ。また従来の格闘ゲームが頭に染み付いている人にも浸透が難しかったです。駆け引きの種類が全く違うので偏見を。Okay, so this is a bit of a different point, right? I think we can. それを見ないため、スマブラ県など制作していたりもします。Yeah. I think he's getting into a, a different topic there with the, the branding and the characters and such, which is also very interesting. Also, I mean, yo, go fucking subscribe to Sakurai's channel. It's He's been putting out some some fun stuff, and um, I love how the style of his videos is so similar to the style of like the user interface in like brawl and shit yeah. moving forward. Because it's like, oh, that's just his aesthetic. Oh, that's his wife. That's cool. Nice. That's why. Okay, he presents information according to the way that uh, his wife's designing. That's cool. Aesthetics are awesome. I like it. It's a, it's a unique thing that you're like. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a Sakurai feeling user experience, you know. Yeah. Um. So I was just gonna say that, like, yeah. So the discussion, of course, about like you know, uh, combos, and the idea of you start a combo and then the other person can't play and all that stuff. And new it, players picking up combos too. Right. Yeah. It is true that that initially creates a situation where people stop playing and have to sit and watch, right? And there's not much they can do. And I think that there's room for all kinds. I think that uh, some games innovated some awesome systems to deal with that. For example, Burst is a wonderful thing to keep you engaged while you're getting hit because you are you have one moment to break that combo, but you got to pick it right. So you stay engaged. It's a really fun way to like make it so that you're not just sitting and waiting the whole time, right. right? You have to hold that. It can be a part of your game design. But there's things you can do, right? Killer Instinct did a great job with that. Killer Instinct is my next example. Yeah. Because KI is a constant engagement on defense. Yeah. KI is the most you're playing while getting hit in any fighting game. And that's why I fell so deep into it for a few months because I was like, oh, this game is godlike. It's beautiful. The original game just wanted big stylish combos that would be really impressive to watch. And then they kind of went, oh, we got to put in a breaker because <laughs> some of these are insane, right? And that was the end of the thought. And then in the new game, they went, how do we actually build a really intricate system around these ideas, you know? And those things are really fun ways so that on defense, you can stay engaged, right? Directional influence while you're getting hit 
is another great way right. to influence, uh, uh, to, to have, not have fun, but to stay engaged, right? Um, you talk about your DI influence on hit in, in Smash, yep. right? You can fall out of a combo if the person is trying to combo you a certain direction and you're holding the opposite way and they're going to do a move that whiffs entirely, right? right? That is the entire, not the entirety. You need to be active on defense and on offense. While you're sorry. getting hit. Yeah. On defense, you're trying to get out of the combo. On offense, you need to adapt to whatever the other person is doing with their DI. Yomi Hustle, yeah, takes that to a really aggressive level where you have to have you have burst and DI while you're getting hit, trying to get knocked out of combos by making them fuck up. Yeah. So there's a lot to it, you know. Uh, I like those systems. I like mechanics where you know you can fuck around with like while you're getting hit. Tech in to some degree with the get wake up options and, and so on. You can guess bad and get blown up again or get hit on the ground and whatever. But all this to say that if you want a game that is like, no, we just want it to be like no burst. You hold it if you get hit and stuff. There's room for that, you know, and there's room for games where you can design it as Sakurai was intending to, where instead of having long combos, you actually have multiple, new, I'll call them neutral engagements. Right, because if you think about, I guess, like the highest level of like the way Street Fighter V ended, it would be one where the best players of that game would touch each other three times, and the round would be over. Right, and so like really good players in fighting games will look at them and go, "How many times do I have to touch you to win the round?" Right, right. Is it a three touch game? Is it a two yeah. touch game? Marvel is a one touch game. You know, um, in Street in Sakurai's case, he wanted a game where you have multiple touches that build up to a winning knockout, but people found combos anyway. Yeah. Not that they were intended to be that way, but they found them. I wonder at which point Sakurai saw like the like he knew there must have been like a few combos here and there, but how deep it went, you know, like drink sixty four, you can zero death characters. Of course. You know? In melee, you can, but you can still use some techniques to like dodge some of these events where it's well, zero to death, but it's still very, very combo heavy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't melee out become a lot more about uh, zero to 100 as well? Where it yeah. was. There, there are combos. You yeah, know? Like yeah. If, like if, guaranteed, you're not going to tilt out of this. Like if, if the guy doesn't mess up, it's like zero to 30, 40% assured. Right. And like. At higher percentages, when you have like more knockback, then it can be another thirty percent combo. And sometimes it's just like, no, I'm gonna kill you because your character doesn't fall when I do that move on you, and it's a set knockback. So I'm just gonna yeah kill you. I earlier. think that's fine, but just keep in mind that like I think you know we saw with melee, he allowed the, the system to open up and become more deep, and then regretted it immediately yeah. and decided to like close it back up after melee i don't i don't i wonder if he knew how deep it was you know because that's how it happens you know that you make the game you're like i think the game should be played like this and then you put it in the hand of the passionate people and they're like what are they doing with my game well regardless of how it turned out in the end in the on an intricate level he just told us what he wanted yeah he wanted multiple neutral encounters to an eventual win, right? Yeah. So I just think that uh, as far as it goes, you don't have to look at that and go fuck any game that's like that, and you don't have to say like, yeah, fuck fighting games that you have to, where you just have to sit and watch yourself get beat up, right? It is true that someone's first experience on a game like that will feel bad, but that can apply to any genre, yeah, right? Absolutely, any genre that is too aggressive up front is going to turn the person off if they're the type of person who doesn't want a challenge. And or isn't looking for, uh, you know, that type of like difficulty wall. Um, a fucking you know, again, you can talk about Souls games all day or whatever. You know, uh, I think that you don't need to take a universal design philosophy into account when you're making games like this. I think you should make some games that have different types of for different people. You know, do a um, game for you. Yeah, I love the burst system in, in games when it exists but I'm also fine with it when it's not there and like if it if it makes if the game is fun and you can work with other tools around what's going on you know then uh, I don't mind if there's something that lets me like do something evasive on block you know then sure I don't have a burst or you know um, um, CVS where you've got a, a six different grooves to pick from with your defense yeah. you want to dodge you want to roll 
wild, crazy fucking shit, you know, like, yeah, so I don't know. Um, there's, there's no one right winning answer on that. That is like the definitive best way to go about it in the end. Smash is great for what it's trying to do. And, uh, it's created a, a genre of like platform fighters and then things leading all the way up to the ones we know. And there's room for all of the above, you know, because I mean, shit, like every one of these smaller communities that has people that are dedicated that are playing them and connecting and, and staying in them and shit like you know they're not dealing with overcrowding overpopulation issues but like there's more flavors for people who are like well i didn't like this but i like the idea of a fighting game and i just want to find something that clicks with me like they will click on certain things that are just like oh yeah there's something about um uh skull girls in particular that I just, I, that I really yeah. love, you know? Or there's something about, uh, yeah, uh, whatever, Dead or Alive in particular that I really, really like, you know? Um, and that stuff is, is like, worth continuing to exist. I'd say that, like, there's, it's worth pointing out that Sakurai wanted to make a game that could look like this, and yet, like, on the screen, we see, like, he's trying to give information to people so that they can actually enjoy the game. And maybe to him, fighting games, when he was saying, oh, you're getting comboed and you're just staring and getting comboed, you're not doing anything. You're not learning at the same time. But here he's like, yo, I want people to be able to like naturally learn mm -hmm. what to do on their own. And he's making this website to yeah. like teach the people. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I'll, that's definitely something that's kind of lacking in fighting games. And here's the other thing too, thing. right? Um, and this is, I mean, this is the genesis of why we have so much discussion about the nature of fighting games as opposed to it just being a slam dunk for everybody who plays them. Most genre, You don't have to talk about most genres of games and why they're popular. FPSs and RTSs and stuff. They just, they just hit, right? People get it and they go. But this is somebody walking to an arcade, standing in line, putting 50 cents down, spending money to sit down and get one game, one shot at a thing. They're going to look at a character select screen, not know who they're looking at, pick someone random, go up against someone who knows exactly what the fuck they're doing, get bodied and walk away having an overall negative experience. This is not the same as you coming to my place, sitting in that third seat, and we're doing a fun episode of Newcomers with you. Nor is it the same For as... free. Nor is it the same as you going to your friend's house and having a bunch of people there that know what they're doing and some that don't, and having a, a night of playing fighters together where, like... The skill is like, you go, oh, you lost? Cool. What did that match mean? Nothing. Because we're going to hit replay, and I'm going to play again, and I'm going to yeah. show you, hey, actually, that character is pretty sick, yeah. right? You can do this, or you didn't know about that. Fine. That's not the same as even going to a meetup or a local where you're like, oh, there's other people here that are at my level. Let's stick around and play again and play together. Or even being online and just grinding it out in a lobby somewhere. Walking into an arcade, putting down money, having a single game experience, feeling bad about it and walking away is a unique thing in time. That's not the general experience. I guess. But it still influenced the genre from right. its earliest moments That's true. until where we are yes. today. Well put. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs>